Today we're going to demonstrate some of the 3D visualization tools that are built into the Ampere software package from Integrated Engineering Software. We'll use a model of Helmholtz coils to demonstrate techniques for visualizing the magnetic field. Here we show the coils. You'll notice that there are cones inside the coil volumes that indicate the direction of current flow. A very fast way to visualize the B-field is to plot an arrow plot on a plane and you can see the cones indicating the direction of the field which is primarily in the Z direction in the center of the coils and the cones are color coded according to the magnitude of the field. Now this is a very crude visualization. You can get a better indication of the direction of the field by plotting vector potentials on the same plane as we've done here. To get a better indication of the magnitude of the field, we plotted a contour plot of the Z component on the field on the same plane. And you can see here again the color coding where you have a deep red color. You have a positive Z component up to about 230 Gauss. Where you have a dark blue color that indicates a negative Z component of about 130 Gauss. I'm going to restrict the range of the plot so that we won't plot any value of the Z component which is more negative than 15 Gauss or more positive than 105 Gauss. And this gives an even better visualization of the uniformity of the field. So far we've just been plotting on the YZ plane. We can use distances in the X direction to represent the value of the fields and this would produce a profile plot. To show you how this would appear, first I'm going to change from solid color to colored lines. And then I'll change the orientation of our model so that the up axis will be the X axis. And now the contours appear on a horizontal plane. The finished profile plot appears as we show here. And I've made this semi-transparent so you can see the original contours on the horizontal plane. An even better indication is sometimes obtained by doing a plot on a half plane. The final technique that we're going to demonstrate is isosurfaces and we'll develop that by again looking at contour plots. Here I plotted the Z component on two perpendicular surfaces. So when you plot contours on a plane, the contour lines connect points which have the same field value. If you extend this into three dimension and you connect all the points in the region of 3D space with the same value of a field component, instead of just lines you'll get surfaces and that's what I'll show you in the final model. Here we show an ISO surface plot which gives you a very good visualization of the field magnitude in three dimensions. So hopefully uh, this will give you some ideas of how you can use visualizations for getting a better understanding of your own models. They're also very helpful when it comes to preparing presentations or reports. You'll find that your reports will be both more interesting and easier to understand.